We're here at Modern Automotive Performance today to visit our friends Dalen and Charlie, check out the facility and see what they're up to, which is working on Dustin Williams' new Nissan Z and getting it ready for SEMA. Let's go check it out. Nick, hey, how are you doing, man? How's it going, Charlie? <laughs> you too. Uh, so we've got Dustin inside. He's working on the car right now, but why don't we give you guys a tour of the place? Because you've never I've been never here? been here before. Okay, awesome. Well, let's go show you guys around. And neither have they. They haven't been here either. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, so coming in, this is obviously where most of the customers show up to pick up parts if they're doing like a local pickup. Um, otherwise, this side of things, we're gonna have all of our HR and finance departments. And then if you guys ever call in to buy any parts from us, these are the guys you're gonna talk to. This is the sales support staff. Um, they're the guys who help answer all your questions about your car and help you get the right parts the first time. Then over on this side of things, this is gonna be a lot of the brains here, the operation. This is our R&D team. Uh, so this is where a lot of the rapid prototyping stuff happens, 3D printing, design stuff. These are the guys who do all the big brain work that allow us to sell and support some of our own parts. So um, we obviously sell parts from people like AMS. Um, and we also make some of our own as well. Over on this side, you'll see uh, mostly uh, marketing and media teams. So graphic design, uh, video, social media stuff. Um, then we also happen to share it with the guy who runs the warehouse. Nice. So he gets sick of us playing loud music every now and again. <laughs> uh, this used to actually be a gym. So when okay. we first converted everything, this was a gym space. Uh, so there's actually like a shower and stuff in there uh, in case anybody wanted to work out before or after work. But now this is just where we shoot media stuff. Okay. So a lot of the green screen videos or white backdrop product photos, any of the stuff that we do here to produce media oftentimes is shot at least somewhat in this space also. We also shoot some hoops every once in a while. <laughs> we'll put you on the spot. No. <laughs> Come on, Kobe. Ah, nailed <laughs> Through here, this is the coveted parts warehouse. <laughs> this front side is where we do all of our mandrel bending in-house. So when we bring in raw stainless steel, uh, we end up bending that into various shapes to make parts that we sell for people's cars. This is our kitting department, so obviously once the parts have been manufactured, this is where they get assembled for essentially final boxing before they go out to customers. This whole wall over here, this is just all in stock Emmy Performance parts. So the ones that we make, that's this whole shelf. Um, that's all dedicated to our space. Otherwise, all of the other people's parts are on the other side. Okay. So the other side is all AMS parts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely no one else's parts. Uh, we keep mostly stuff in stock for platforms like uh, Infiniti, starting now Nissan stuff, uh, Honda, Mitsubishi, Subaru. That's kind of our main bread and butter. Uh, but obviously we're kind of expanding into some different makes and models. But for the most part, we keep mostly the popular brand products in stock for those platforms. So anything from Cobb to Saibon to you name it, everything is gonna be in stock here. Um, if it's a top selling product, we keep it on hand. Bunch of engines, we do some built engine work here as well, similar to kind of what you guys do, just different platforms. So um, this is gonna be uh, like Evo and Subaru and now Honda L15 engines oh, wow. um, that we try to keep part of like our map spec in stock program. Okay. Obviously as demand grows, it gets harder to just keep stuff available on the shelf. But as you can see, we're still able to keep up somehow. Um, we got some engines ready to ship out to customers. If you were to come onto the site and order something, it's essentially just a click away. Uh, so through here is gonna be our engine assembly room. So as a lot of your followers probably know, you, know, you wanna reassemble the engine in a nice airtight room so you're not getting a bunch of contaminants inside the engine. Um, this is where everything comes for final assembly. So after we've done any kind of head work or uh, like rebuilding of the engine, like the block itself, um, all the parts then get assembled onto a cart, brought into this room, and this is where it sits before it's finally assembled and then packaged up, ready to get put in a crate to ship out to a customer. Uh, back this way is the machining area. So any of the billet components we use for our own products or any of the equipment we use to refurbish someone's engine, all that stuff is back here. So 
uh, you'll see all the work done for that on this section of the shop. Then back this way is gonna be our dyno room. Uh, right now they're shooting an ad or video for something else. Uh, that car's not actually on the dyno for anything other than just looks right now. But again, we do obviously tune cars, not like for service work, but we do some of our own in-house validation on parts and things of that nature. Cool. We obviously do fun marketing projects as well. Right. And that's where we do the actual tuning of those cars. Uh, back this way is gonna be all of the fabrication. So we have two different shifts of in-house fabricators, each with their own workstation here. Um, people who know how to do different routing and work assembly things plan all of this work. This means something to all of them. I'm not quite sure how to explain what any of that means, but these guys come in for the day and they know what they're supposed to work on. Uh, all of that's obviously these guys here. They obviously are the really skilled individuals who give me something really cool to market. So um, I got to thank these guys for doing incredible work because without them, I wouldn't really have a whole lot to sell. And then if you follow me over here, we'll see the awesome Z build that we've been working on for the past, what, two, three days now? I think so. Two, three days uh, with our friend Dustin Williams. It's coming along great. All the parts you guys sent fit phenomenally so far. So far. So far, <laughs> no problems. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we'll be dialing this thing a little bit today with the fueling, heat exchanger, intakes, stuff like that. As you can see, these guys are already really busy at work. And uh, yeah, we're ready to tear into it and start making some power. Uh, hopefully in the next couple days you'll see us hit the rollers over there and actually put some sauce down with this thing so nice we're here for the sauce we're here for the sauce so we finally made it back to the the man the myth the legend dustin williams What's working up, on guys? the z yes i'm super super pumped to work with ams i'm excited to get all the bolt-ons on so i know nick over here brought us a ton of stuff for today so we've already got started with a little bit i think we pulled off the intake manifold we're getting ready for injectors got the heat exchanger ready and then also the intakes Really, really cool, yeah? Yeah, they're uh, first production intakes. We just got them in literally two days ago, I think. Um, I'll have them on our car, and pretty much everything else that's on this car is the same ones that you've seen on our car already. Um, so yeah, we're excited to put some power uh, into your car for you. I'm stoked. Um, I mean, it's an awesome platform with a ton of potential. So yeah. obviously, AMS makes great parts, so I think, uh, I think everything's on the table. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I mean, we've been talking about this build, this it's been a year since yeah. the last yeah. literally All a year. Right yeah. here, yeah. So. It all started at Top Golf. Literally at Top Golf. Thank you, Turn 14. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now we're what, like, like 20 days away now. Yeah. I, yeah. The fact that it's all the timeline's really getting tight, but um, no, I'm really excited for this collaboration, and and uh, I can't wait for for you to get behind the wheel with a considerable amount more power. 500 horsepower. Yeah, it's um, gonna be sick. We're gonna have some fun. As you heard uh, from Dustin about a couple of the parts, I figured that we just touch base on everything that's going to be included in the build from AMS. Uh, we have our new in intakes, which just came in. Uh, we have our, our intercoolers, our heat exchanger, our flex fuel uh, kit, which is still a prototype. Uh, we have our stage two injectors, which have yet to release. We have our RA405 fuel pump. We also have our low side fuel pump upgrade and a, a fuel filter. Uh, so we're really going all in with this build. It should make similar power to uh, what our car made with a race exhaust on it, uh, but this one has MAP's uh, catted downpipes as well as their custom uh, rear section. So really excited to see what this power, what this car makes as far as power is concerned. Um, but right now they're just kind of working towards the front end of the car, getting an ECU query ready for the tuners back home, and we'll see how it goes. What's up guys, I'm Dustin Williams and today we're going to be working on my brand new 2023 Nissan Z. So we're here with MAP and AMS and we have a ton of stuff to go on the car. Let's check it out. So I think currently we have Kyle underneath the car installing the brand new fuel system because we are going to be putting on flex fuel with the car. We'll be running 91 and E85. Unfortunately, since I am from California, we only have 91, but it's a lot better. So we have a flex fuel system, we have a high pressure fuel pump, low pressure fuel pump, and brand new injectors from AMS. 
which is really, really cool. And peeking out the front right here, what we have is the AMS heat exchanger, which is gonna help cool down the car a lot with, we walk over here, brand new AMS intercoolers. We installed these a couple days ago, but we had to take them off to put on all the fuel stuff. These are a great upgrade uh, compared to stock. Stocks are very, very small. Not only are these a great performance upgrade, but they look amazing in the engine bay, which is really cool. So we have intercoolers. And then our last part to install for this entire week is going to be brand new intakes, which this is just the intake box here, but it'll look really nice in the engine bay with some intakes, have this box with like the intakes peeking out. It's gonna be really nice and add a lot of performance to the car. Dynod the Z earlier this week and the car made right around 372 horsepower. So we're excited to finish everything up, put her back on the dyno and see what she makes with the pretty much, I guess, full bolt-ons and E85. Uh, my goal with the car is really to have a very nice daily driving car, but also something that's really, really fast and I can have some fun with if I do want to take the car to the track or the drag strip. Whatever, I love driving my cars and getting the most out of them. So I think this will be a perfect hybrid between being able to drive this thing on the street and taking it to the track.